all right so here we have the minimalistic boilerplate code for your flutter application inside the main dot dot we have the minimalistic ui which written the home page also we have the api key folder which contain the api key later on in this video i will tell you how to get that api key from the tmdb api <laughs> and our home page screen return the uh, scaffold and inside the body it return custom scroll view so this is our folder structure and i am creating a new folder repeated function in which we are going to place the most repeated function now let me show you how to get the api key by using this api key you can basically fetch everything you like every movies tv series around the world once you go to the tm db website click on the to register api key create your account and get the api key after you get the api key store the api key under the string api key variable you will need this api key to request the uh, url which will provide the json of the movies and tv series so inside the trending section there's one method get trending uh, you can see how it works in the variable section i am pasting my api key uh, just for the demonstration and media type let's select all now let's get the trending movie of the week so you get the url when i enter this url i get a huge list of json of the trending movies oh sorry of the trending movies plus web series i can easily parse this json and see it by using the json parser when I paste the complex JSON, the JSON parser website break down the JSON and here you can see the every detail like name, revenue, ID, popularity, release date, a short description etc. Okay. So basically by just changing some parameter in the URL, we can get trending movies uh, for the day, for the week. Okay, I change week to day and I got list of the JSON for the trending movies or web series on that particular day. So check out this website. Here's a lot of things. Also you can source movie. Now inside the movie section I just go to the top rated and paste my api key now i can select the number of pages it will return and by using this link i can get a list of json of the top rated movies so once you register and get the api key by using various link you can get the various type json and only thing you have to do is to just put that json output or the uh, JSON response from the TMDB website to your Flutter UI. It's pretty much easy. Now I think I have given pretty much a quick overview of the TMDB website. Also I suggest you to check it once. In this file I have provided the different type of link. For each different type of link will give you the different type of JSON. For example the trending movies URL will give the JSON response of all the trending movies for creating the beautiful ui and a beautiful fade between the body and the app bar i have used the custom scroll view inside it i have used sliver which should contain the sliver app bar and also it should contain the sliver list delegate i think for the app bar i have uh, placed only trending text now our sliver app bar is complete for the sliver list i am going to write a simple sample text on the center 
all right now for the front ui part i want to see a large app bar which shrink when user scroll through it also i want the automatic playing list of the top trending movies or series and users should be able to select between the weekly and daily trending movies so this is pretty much our app bar ui for this automatic sliding movies in the front ui part we need a slider and there's one beautiful package in the pop dot dip it is carousel slider you might have heard of it i recommend you to go through carousel slider package once it let you create the sliding effect on the number of image in various form you can see it in the demo you can use various type of image sliding as shown in the demo also you can directly use it by copying the carousel slider function code from this for the fetching url purpose uh, we also need one package named yastp okay this this package has 5000 likes so you can install this package i use the popspec uh, assist vs code extension which allow me to directly add package from the vs code terminal you can add this two package by any method after we successfully import we need to create one future function i have created future function name trending list home inside it i have created one variable trending week response and i'm going to call one method await http.get uri.parse and we need a url which will give us all the trending week uh, movies or series so here's the url i am going to paste it the http.get request inside the trending week response contain a status code if it success means 200 then basically it will give us the json data and we have to decode it so i have stored the json decoded data inside our temp data variable and if you see the json is in form of like this and all the data we need is inside the uh, result if you look at carefully so our trending week json uh, contain all the data inside the result variable i think it's clear up to this now inside the result we have a lots of movies it is showing the 20 movies so we are gonna look through each and extract each of the data so i have created a for loop and i am constantly adding to the trending list here you can see the parameter there is id vote average profile path uh, genre id popularity vote average so i can get all the data by specifying under the uh, square bracket and each time I am going to add this in the trending list variable which is a list type of map and string. Ok now in the app bar we are going to uh, add our UI so that the data can be shown here. I want to create very large app bar so I am gonna give the expanded height of 0.5 and I am gonna create a flexible container and inside the flexible container background I have created a future builder which will call the function trending list home which we have just created it will uh, check for the snapshot and if the connection stage is completed then it will show our slider else it will return the circular progress indicator i can copy all carousel slider code from the pop.dev but in the item i have mapped the variable trending list to each index so here's our variable 
to the list now i have written a builder uh, i am gonna return gesture detector it is for the later purpose if we want to see the individual detail of the movie in our home screen okay uh, basically i want to get the on tap property inside the gesture detector now inside it i will create a container and inside the container i want to place the movies or series image okay now you can see the images and inside the container i have uh, given some url which is inside the poster path if you search to the google how to uh, get the poster path from the tmdb then you will get something so okay this website shows that the to get the image from the tmdb we can use this website or sorry we can use this link okay so i have used the same link and from the any json file i can copy the poster path and replace the poster path with the copied url then uh, we get the image of the specific movie or series okay oh what's going on here let's put this guy Mm. oh there's one square bracket we have to remove it uh, you can see we got the image successfully if we want to uh, get the image of the different movie or series then we can copy the poster path paste it in the poster path url okay <coughs> Okay, in this way you can get the poster path of the any movie or series you want. I have written the same thing over here inside the network image. As you know, we have added our all JSON data to the uh, trending list variable. So, and we have mapped this trending list variable inside our carousel. So each time it is calling the poster path of the every movie inside the trending list variable. If you check the description, you can see the GitHub link in which I have pushed all the code and you can see it and try to figure it out. So this is it for today's video.